everybody. It is the 21st of May, 10 a.m. in the morning on this lovely Saturday. Yes, it is nice outside. Hopefully we will get the rain. Excuse the chewing, everybody. Uh, he's got a piece of gum, so if you hear a little bit of smacking, I apologize about that. No, no, Dad, you can have it in. I'm just giving a fair warning. I'm trying to get in better uh, teeth cleaning habits, and believe it or not, everybody, chewing a piece of gum after you eat is actually good because it helps get loose particles up before you brush your teeth. And we, we're not drink, uh, doing sugar gum either. I think we got, what, double mint? Yeah. Okay, first off, we are going to talk about some of the box office stuff. <sighs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. All one I'm not going to worry about is, uh, are you okay? Yeah. All one we're not... <laughs> Only one we're not going to worry about is um, Fantastic Beast. Poor Beast. Uh, well, yeah, it went up a little bit. Uh, right now, as of the recording of this, uh, Morbius is at 163 million. That's a surprise to yeah. a lot of people. Oh. Oh, and supposedly the actor who does Sonic in the movies mm -hmm. is, is like, you guys are going to be so hyped for the third movie. Like, they're already starting stuff on it. Wow. Uh, $356 million right now on Sonic. Wow. Wow. Wednesday did almost $300,000. Uh, Dang, Sonic is still going pretty strong, though. Well, being a kid-friendly movie... Maybe it'll, it'll, it'll get a boost up uh, this next weekend. Yeah, I think it will. School being out in most places. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange is at $723 million. Did three? Hey, it did $3 million on Thursday. That's not bad. Almost It did almost $4 million on Wednesday. Whoa. It's starting to... <coughs> what? We say jumping time, but jumping universes. It'll do, it'll do good again this weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, it, ain't, it ain't anywhere near done. No, I mean, it's still in its first month. Uh, so, I expect that to easily hit $800 million. Sonic's No doubt. Sonic's on its second month. Sonic might make it to to uh four hundred million. Yeah, I, I I hope it does. I really yeah. do. I think Doctor Strange by the time it ends, it will. <sighs> Let's see, one two. It will still be in theaters a little bit during uh Thor: Love and Thunder, but not long. That'll yeah. be like one of the final weekends for it. Uh, just due to the fact that you know they're they're going to want to, but I can see them keep keeping it on for a little bit to say, hey, if you didn't see this movie, you know, go see this movie, then go see this movie. Um, so, uh, uh, da, 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 da. we won't have anything. Uh, I'm not going to talk anything about the Johnny Depp trial. Everybody won't because everyone's covering it. We're going to do our opinion on it after it's done. Um, Going to be nasty. Now, th this is stuff we heard. We're personally for with Johnny Depp. Personally, we've actually like listened to stuff on it, and yeah, uh, Dad being a cop, uh, so it just kind of had that look like. Even I'm kind of when he had he was he had some of it on like t one time I was walking around on break this week, and I'm sitting there like had that look like oh that's some bull malarkey you know. I mean, and his attorneys are good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do feel sorry for her attorneys. I, I, I'll, I will admit that her, her attorneys are. Mm, mm. Oh, they got. Uh, she gonna pay for it. I dare say. Oh yeah. Well, I think they have to like till next week or something that they're supposed to have it finished up, like the judges said. Yeah. It's supposed give, to give it to the jury. Yeah. Uh let's see what a. Uh, Today we're going to talk about a. Uh, oh, I did. I did miss something though. There is another Marvel series coming out uh, next month. 
uh, called Miss Marvel. It's about a hero. She's about 14 or 15. That's what she's actually introduced in the comics on. Okay. They, they changed her powers up a little bit because she hasn't really caught on, but I think... I hadn't figured it out yet. No, I, I think the character's been around since like 2013, 2014, and no one just really liked the character. This might be able to bring the character in. Uh, her name's Kamala Khan. I uh, only have one issue with it, but um, that's just more of a personal stance uh, on some things. Mm -hmm. But uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, no, I think they. No, I mean the, the character, if she's written good, can be really good. That's not what I'm talking about. It's like, okay, I'll go ahead and sit there and tell you this. It's um, one of her elders. Um, she is, and the big thing they're going to push on this one, uh, which I say push, and what I mean by that, everybody, it, it's not meaning, um, anything bad, anything bad, but I know it's a, it, for her and the way they do it in the comics, which bugs me personally on, on an aspect, which I'll lay down here, uh, in a second is, um. It's what they do for her. They don't do it for other people. Okay, that's that. That's the big thing. Okay, uh, she's of the Muslim faith. Okay, but one of the people's sister and says there's not good and evil in the world. There's people who do good acts and people who do evil acts. I'm sorry, I do not believe that because I do believe there's evil in the world. Okay. Yes. All right. And I have no problem with the fact that uh, she's of the Muslim faith. Okay. I just hate when they sit there. Um, because I know in the comics, like anybody I talk to, I guess that's the whole thing is anybody want to talk to at conventions and everything. And it's never the ones who, who cosplay her, but it's everyone else. Oh, she's the first, uh, Muslim superhero and all, all this other stuff. I'm sitting there like, okay, is that her defining trait? Well, uh, how dare you, you know? And it's just like, there's a lot of, Chris oh, you know, you, you can't say Christian, you know, I'm sitting there like, if they're going to do that, you need to do the same, you know, thing because, I mean, one of the biggest characters who is of the Christian faith, um, believe it or not, is, he's actually Catholic, is Daredevil. Yes. He's highly religious, and yes. if I remember in the comments, he says there, he does ask for forgiveness on his sins, and he goes after bad people too. Uh, he says there and says, if I have to be punished by God for the evil I've done, I will set my punishment because... What I've done is helped other people, you know. Tried to help others. Try to help others. Yeah, because, you know, he went with a little more strength. Now, Punisher, there's a good chance Punisher might. <laughs> or he'll be in purgatory for all eternity, you know. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'll research some stuff on Kamal Khan, everybody. And, uh, well, look, from what I saw the trailer, Dad, mm -hmm. it doesn't look bad. It looks. It, it has a little bit of a more of a kid feel because you know she's about fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Uh, the girl who's I don't know the girl who's uh playing it. She's not doing just from the trailer like she's not doing a bad job. Yeah. So I mean it looks like a good film. I you know it might bring her character more into the limelight. Yeah. Uh There's a lot of people don't not like her character. Okay, all right, on to some other stuff. Um, okay, all right. This next one, everybody, it's serious. It's going to premiere on HBO Max. It is literally called Velma. And if you haven't figured it out, Velma, as in... The uh, girl who wears the glasses, who is really scientifically smart from the Scooby Doo gang, uh, which technically, everybody, if, you, if it, we're going to be technical real quick, in the original incarnation of Scooby Doo, uh, and in some of the other ones, um, all of them were smart in different ways. Believe yes. it or not, yes, they were not stupid at all. No, um, I know some people like they had their quirks. All of them. Uh, you know, as believe it or not, I, I, Velma, she was very scientific, okay? 
Um, Fred was an engineer. He was a he was an engineering genius. I mean, so what did he call them nerds? Uh, well, they're all nerds, technically. Oh, I know. Except for Scooby. <laughs> um, Daphne was smart. She was highly intelligent, but they always well, she's just kind of ditzy. Yeah, she, 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 yeah. Uh, and Shaggy, no, Sh Shaggy was a genius. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, besides making food, I mean, Sh Shaggy was a genius when it was coming, well, when it came to food, you know. Super chef. Yeah. Now, here's something for you. A Great Dane can run up to 40 miles an hour, right? Okay. All right. So. Would you say uh, Shaggy's one of the fastest people in the world? Because he runs right along, right, right side of Scooby, or Scooby's slowing down for him. Here's the question. That, that is the real big question. Is Scooby slowing down? Or? or is it, actually, uh, in a couple of the episodes, they've always joked that Shaggy's actually super athletic. That's why he has to eat a lot, because... He burns it all up. Again, his athleticism is in track events. Well, they said that in the original. They said yeah. he, he's like the top track person in, uh, in uh, I mean, he's the top track person in their school, you know? Yep. Yeah. And I, I think that was the one thing It's like they, they never fully explored that because I'm like, I could see Shaggy being like a, not just triathlon, I could see him doing everything. Wait, wait, Shaggy, you just did like flips and everything. Uh, yeah. I'm, you guys think I do my spare time? But you're so skinny. I know. We're trying to figure out why I can't gain any uh, muscle. You know. And I'm just gonna say always running. Yeah, I know. But um, the actress who's doing it, her name is Mindy Kaling. Um, she's done a couple. She's done a couple of things. Um, I just, eh, I mean, the. The comedy stuff she's in just has never really hit me, okay? Um, was she in Disney stuff? No, she did some stuff on Fox. Um, it just never... Never floated your boat? Yeah, the, the, to me, it just never floated my boat and everything. Kind of... yeah, yeah, to me and everything. I'm not saying she's not a bad actress or anything. It's just... She did, she, she... It's just not your thing. No. Um, she says... Um, She's basically this is turning Velma into a story about a, uh, a South Asian crime solver. If people freak out about that, I don't care, uh, and everything, you know. Okay, that's fine, but oh, this is her Velma. Oh, this is her series. Okay, because I'm looking at it right here. And this is from Deadline. Not to be confused with. Scooby and gang. No. She's borrowing the name, but not the actual character. No, it is the actual character. She's making it her own version. Oh, okay. Another universe. Yeah. Basically. But, yeah, it's going to be, um, basically... Not going to be our Velma. No, not ours, and, and it, it ain't the fact because uh, it's hers because of the fact everybody that yeah that they're, they're gonna have um, literally in the picture that you see, which is not here on the uh, no it, it it is it actually shows which you know it's supposed to be more for adults and and the animation looks all right um, on it, but it shows her in a locker. Um, one girl, clearly she's just covering up her breasts a little bit with her hands, a little couple of soap suds around uh, her crotch area, and she's pretty much standing there naked, and another girl has her, uh, head chopped off. Literally, like, and you can see what's supposed to be remnants of brain matter, and this is supposed to be some kind of, like, more adult version of Scooby-Doo and everything. Now, yes, we've seen adult versions of Scooby-Doo before, and what I mean is by that is on the parody series on Robot Chicken, with oh. um, God. <laughs> all right, and that, now that's a comedy sketch series, though. Okay. Yes. Uh, but 
I, I don't know. I, I just I don't like the idea of that. I, I never, and I know people. This isn't your oh, your Scooby. Yeah, it's not Scooby. It's Velma. Um, and I don't think it's going to go over well. I know the younger generation. Oh, this is so good. It's so edgy. This is what we need. Make it more realistic. It needs to be about her. Yeah, I know all all, the, all your little whatever y'all call yourselves, uh, millennials, uh, uh, zennials, whatever y'all are. Uh, or whatever you are. Yeah, Gen X for the win. Uh, even though I'm all like at the tail end of Gen X, I don't care what you say, I am Gen X. Uh, I mean, it just, it, I not, I'm trying to think how, I'm trying to think how to explain how, how to say this without coming across mean or anything. I know it got it was already green lit before the new CEO came in and canned everything, a lot of things. So he has to get his monies out of, out of that, which I understand. But go ahead, you're about to say something. I don't say where it would it may do good, it may not that I do not know. But uh she's ba she's using the, the Velma name and she's gonna make it her own. And that making it quote unquote edgy just I'm trying to think of I can't think of the word. Making it edgy to be edgy? Yeah, that too. Well, I mean, you could do a more serious Scooby Doo. I mean, look at Mirster Incorporated. I mean Yeah, that was a little more adult. That was a teenager adult and I mean t and I mean phew. I seen the whole time series every bit. Now the first time I, I heard about it, I was like, uh, okay. It took. Then I saw. I didn't like Mission Incorporated when I first saw it, okay, because I just saw it still, okay. But they, um, it still had the Scooby Doo feel to it. It was just a little more. It was a little more serious, and it had an ongoing story. There was nobody even. It had the. The whole thing about Mission Incorporated, it had the old Hanna Barbera feel, like Johnny Quest feel. Uh, yeah, there were some characters that died in it, but they died off screen. Uh, they got fixed, though, at, at, like, the last episode, you know, stuff like that. Uh. Well, we don't know where they're going with this, but it sounds like they're trying to make it like uh, some of the animes that come out of Japan, but they're definitely... They're way, they're like 50, 60 years way behind. I mean, even the oh, stuff, yeah. even the stuff 60 years ago, uh, looks better. Let's, you okay? Yeah, I was just trying to think of some of the stuff we've seen. We've Ghost seen in a Shell, um, for starters. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, see, so yeah, uh, I mean, Lupin. Lupin's semi-serious. I mean, it, it goes. Over, Lupin does go over some serious topics. Oh, I know. Uh, let's see. Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, I can show you one once you, which I don't know if you've seen. They actually did a crossover of it too with Lupin in this series. Uh, it's called Case Closed. No, I have not seen that. Well, the um. It premiered here in America in the early 2000s. Uh, it was also known as... Uh, it, it's called Case Closed over here, but it was called Detective Conan in Japan. Mm -hmm. And it's about a teenage boy who gets turned back into a kid again by an evil organization because he saw a murder. He didn't, uh, they didn't kill him enough with the poison. It reverted him back to a kid. And he semi solves murders and everything under the disguise that he's not himself. Wait a minute, I have seen bits and pieces of that. It's good. It, so it, it looks like really good. Oh yeah, they got like over a thousand episodes. Uh, yeah. I mean that it's. I mean you do have people who die in it, and uh, the way they solve it. I mean it's. It's. I mean, I mean the way they. It's hard. Why they, they kill the people? Well, I mean, it's it's not super gruesome, and, and if it is, they they kind of cover it up, you know. Tone it down. That's the word I'm looking for. The, the no, what they do is do the whole uh, shadow effect. Like they'll turn the people kind of like as a shadow, and might yeah. have like 
the red background and you'll see yeah. the head. You don't necessarily, but you know what I'm trying to say. You don't see the gruesomeness. No, but I mean, a, a more of a Scooby Doo style where you have murders and everything. I can't see it being done here in America. I mean, I could see it being outsourced to a studio in Japan. Oh, I don't know where I found it, but it's uh, almost along the lines of, of a slasher movie. It could be. Yeah. Uh, I that, think. I that's think the way it's going. That's the way it just looked from that yeah, image. Yeah, the way it looks like that image. Uh, kind of looks like a slasher, but I don't know if that'll work or not. No, I don't, because that's the one thing, though, is, and you know as well as I do, like, certain things, you know, there's been adult cartoons before, like, but usually they're made from, like, parodies, and, uh... Yeah, we've seen some, some slasher stuff that was pretty, was definitely PG-13 and above. Oh, like what? Oh, uh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, one of the guys, um, what would be a zombie? Uh, they had to eat people to stay alive. Uh, I don't remember that one. It was supposed to have another season and they didn't. I don't remember that one. Okay. Eat people to stay alive. What? I don't remember. It, it, was it an anime? Yes. Oh, no, you're talking about Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah. He's a morph of a vampire. Vampire or whatever. Yeah. I had to think for a second. Yeah. Uh, well, they got to... The, no, they, they they have a second season. Or well, a third season. Yeah. Uh, we just never... It never aired. Uh, oh, another one. Uh, Dead Man Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no. I guess Tokyo the... Tokyo Ghoul was more out there than it. Oh, I know. But I just, I don't, I, yes, I agree, you can make animation for adults, okay? I have no issue with that. Because there was a lot of adult-style animation films done in the late 70s and eight, uh, through the 80s, everybody. And I ain't just talking about pornographic either, alright? I'm talking about more, there was a lot of sci-fi films that were more adult-orientated that were animated. Uh, they had ongoing stories. And yeah, and they were good too. Yeah. They're just hard to find. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I just don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not too keen on using a property like, like this, or using a character like this. I feel like the only reason why she's putting Velma on it is to, uh, cause she know if it was her, her own character. You know, her own self, it wouldn't go through. She's tagging along. I think, I think <coughs> she, I think she uh, convinced the people, well, we'll call it Velma and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then people would watch it, you know, attach part of the Scooby Doo property to it to, uh, to get views. To draw viewers. That tells me that she had no confidence in it. That's me, everybody. Well, or she's so cocky sure of herself. I'll shame she's a comedian. She's a Hollywood comedian. What do you expect? And most of them are cocky. Think about it. Ooh. Sorry, bro. That's on my knee. Well, it's going to be interesting. I don't see it doing well. You don't? Mm -mm. I don't either, being honest with you. Well, if they try to attract people on the name, and once they figure out after about two or three episodes that this is not what I was expecting, readings will drop through the toilet. Yeah, yeah, they will. They will. I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. Because when you use certain names and properties, people expect something. And if you don't deliver, guess what? Yeah. No, no, yeah, I mean, no, I You have to be careful when you do that kind of thing. Yeah. No, I, I'm agreeing with you. I, I'm not arguing with you at all. Oh, let's see. That's all I can think of right now. Yeah, I don't 
flame here. Okay, everybody, I think that's going to be it for us uh, this morning. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. If you have, um, I, you know, usual stuff, guys, comment section below. Uh, we have a Facebook page, Nurse with a Cause. If you can, please like and subscribe to us here. It really, really does help us out. I know we haven't been, you know, getting any. we got to beat that algorithm. I'm doing what I can, but um, thank you for the people who do listen. I wish sometimes, though, it would pick up. Uh I don't even look at the statistics anymore. I mean, most people want us to, you know, I know YouTube's a business for a lot of people. We're doing this for fun. I mean, unless we start getting like 20, 30,000 views, you know, then yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I am going to start looking at statistics then because that's a whole different ballgame. I know. All right, everybody, with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. We will see you on Thursday. Uh, keep... Uh, like I said, follow us on Facebook. I'll let you guys know if we're going to have a podcast or not, which we're working on one for Thursday. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it out. Uh, with that said, everybody, have a good weekend. We will see you on Thursday. We are out.